exact versus approximate roots. When we're talking about square roots, cube roots, or fourth roots, um, or any root for that matter, your calculator will actually figure them out for you. So if you're not really good at looking at something such as the square root of 121 and knowing the answer, feel free to grab a calculator, find a little square root button, and punch in the square root of 121. Your calculator will spit out that the root of 121 is 11. If we work our way across, we move over and say, well, calculator, what's the square root of 122? It's going to spit out 11. 0 0.04536102 and that's as far as the window in my calculator goes. Now does that mean that's the end of the decimal? No, that just means the calculator ran out of room and it stopped there and it probably rounded off there. We're told in the instructions to evaluate to one decimal. Well, 11.045 as one decimal would just be 11, technically 0 0.0 which is exactly the same as the answer that we got for the square root of 121. Does that mean the root of 121 and the root of 122 are equal? No. It just means that some rounding has happened in one of them. The second part of the question asks us which of the following are exact. The square root of 121 is exactly 11. This is an exact answer. The square root of 122 is not exactly 11. This has been rounded off. You'll see this represented lots of different ways. One way is to put a little dot over the equal sign to say is approximately equal to. If you're asked to round it off to, to one decimal place, you can just write equals 11.0. But realize that this answer is technically approximate. Anytime we round something off, we've lost all of this information. So it's no longer an exact answer. What if it's a cube root? What if we move over here to the cube root of negative 8? Let's talk for a second. Can we find a cube root of a negative? Is there something that I can take three of them, multiply them together to get negative 8? There are. If I take negative 2 and cube it, I'll get negative 8. So negative 2 is the cube root of negative 8. Your calculator, somewhere on it, will either have a cube root function or it will have a uh, a root that looks like this, oh, can I squeeze this in? If there's a button like this on your calculator, it might have a Y underneath, the X and the Y might be switched, something like that that will allow you to put a 3 there. And then you can find a cube root uh, with your calculator as well, or for that matter, any root. So the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. Is that exact? Did we round? We didn't round it off at all, so this is an exact answer. I move over to the cube root of 10. I grab my calculator again and I say, hey calculator, cube root of 10, it says, well, the cube root of 10 is 2.1544369, and I'm going to think there was more. Because I'm supposed to go to one decimal place, I'm rounding it off, that rounds to 2.2. Is this exact? Have I maintained all of this information? No, that makes this approximate. A part of this unit is going to involve how do we work with radicals without turning them into approximate value. We're going to look at how to simplify radicals so that they stay exact. If you have more questions, make sure you phone or email your teacher or hop on Gchat to get a quick answer.